So one of the new things we've introduced was Edmodo, which is similar to a social networking system within school. It works by teachers being able to create groups, adding you into the group, and sharing files with them for revision material, homework, etc. So, so um, it's, the site is humberston.edmodo.com, and we'll just show you how to get signed up. So once you get to this screen, you'll see create your account. I'm a student or I'm a teacher, depending on what you are. You'll obviously, hopefully, know. You would enter your group code, which is usually a combination of numbers and letters. We'll leave that out for now. Your username can be anything. I'll just no idea what you. You can make it anything. Your password must be um, your secure password, as of course you can go back to the Jewish Leaders Assembly we did on our passwords. Your first name, which would obviously be your first name, and your last name, which is also your last name. And then you put your email in, which is completely optional, but it just sends you an email if anything happened. I'll just close that and log into my account for now. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm here to show you how to, how to use Edmodo, the new school social networking site we've uh, joined. So now this is the home page. Um, in the middle here, it shows different posts that have been put on. So, starting at the like on most social networking sites, the ones at the bottom of the page are the oldest posts. The bottom of mine, I've got something Mr. Jacqueline has done to show people or try to have a go at how to do something. Put like, put, for instance, put homework on. And um, here's some questions for uh, an interview of two ICT teachers. And at the top is Andy Green, who's put down the left. You've got your profile picture, you've got your name, you've got different things. You've got um, like uh, assignments uh, and alerts. Underneath that, you've got your groups you're in, um, and then your communities. On the other side, you've got events, uh, tags, and posts, and a, co a parent code, which gives your parents if you want them to create an Edmodo account. Up here is where you type your post if you want to post on it. Yeah, you type it in there. Um, on your profile, uh, it's got your picture, your name, what you are, student or teacher. Here it's got badges. You can get awarded badges by teachers. If they think you've done something, they'll give you a badge. Uh, here it's got how many classmates you've got, how many groups you've got, you're in, how many items you've got in your backpack, which is basically something you use if you want to put. Uh, files on from one computer or place to another and here's where it says po how many posts you've put on and how many replies you've put on. Underneath that's the teachers. And down here uh, there's three things. Your favourite quote, how you like to learn and your career goal. In the first one you put your favourite quote uh, so, you, so you click on that and you search for a quote. It gives you different suggestions of popular quotes on there. Underneath that it says how you like to learn. You could choose hands on listening or visually. So if you like doing things when you're learning, you press hands on. If you like listening to things and then learning and then trying to do something, you press listening. If you like looking at things and then doing it, you press visually. Um, underneath that is the career goal. You've got many different uh, sections you can use. Um, things you learn in different lessons. So for instance, there's building and fixing things, there's computers, uh, there's music and there's sports. So if you want to get on one of these, you click on any one of them and that will give you different uh, parts of the different jobs, different things you can do in the job. So you just click on the one you like and then the, these will come up here and they'll give you information about them and tell you about them.